It's week eight. Week eight, that is, of spring fever. I must have spring fever. I'm Dave Matson. Thanks for staying with us. Busy week for high school sports and weather-wise, probably the best week we've had this spring. Let's get right to the action. We're going to open with baseball in Chicopee, where Comp hosted Holyoke Tuesday afternoon. Good afternoon for a game. We're going to pick up the game in the bottom of the third. Colts trailing 3-0. Hunter Pinnell at the plate. He hits this shot into the outfield. Graham Topper hustling around from second. And that gets the Colts on the board. Bottom of the fourth inning now. Topper at the plate with a runner at third. This deep drive for Anthony Folta to tag and score. Colts cut the lead to one run. We're still in the fourth inning now. Kerry Rosado at bat. Bases full of Colts. He singles. Adam LeBeau and Zach Nichols come around to score. Colts take their first lead of the game. It's four to three. Comp pitcher Zach Nichols would get the win, pitching a complete game. In this one, the Colts roll 10-4 over Holyoke. To East Hampton now, the Eagles tournament bound, hosting Munson. The Eagles were up early, and here's Om Patel with the hit that brings home Matt Arroyo. East Hampton with the single. Eagles avoid and uh, the double play, and Zach Kugler scores. Munson at the plate here, number two Trent Hill singles. Two plays later, Munson with the double steal of second and third. No score there, though. Eagles up now, bottom of the fifth. Nick Lloyd with the hit. Otis Follett follows up with the Eagles with a single. Eagles score five runs in the bottom of the fifth to put this game away. Final East Hampton six, Munson one. Softball down. Minichog took on Long Meadow Thursday afternoon in Wilbraham. Top of the fourth will pick things up. Chog up 6 0 with Isabella Ferrara pitching. She gets the strikeout here. She wound up pitching a complete game, only giving up two runs on three hits, striking out five. Bottom of the inning, Kelsey Allard at bat for the Falcons. Runners at the corners. This hit brings home Kayla White. That ups Chog's league to 7 0. Top of the fifth, Longmeadows Caroline Stratton up with a runner at third. The ball hit deep enough. Grace O'Connor scores to get the Lancers on the board. Behind a strong game from Bell Ferrara, Chog gets the win. Big one, 11 2. Now East Hampton hosting Ludlow. Lauren Morse with the hit. Michelle McDermott and Olivia Downer both score. Uh, Tessa Pont scores another Eagles run on this hit by Bryce Nelson. Big play of the game here. Ludlow's Alexa Palazzi with his drive down the left field line. Danielle Smith and Angela Rodriguez both score. Ludlow goes on to win this one over East Hampton. It's the score of 6-3. to three. We continue our Spring Fever coverage in Springfield Central hosting Southwick this afternoon. We pick up the action in the top of the first. Southwick with a 1-0 lead. Runner at third for Alex Meth. A deep drive. Brittany Pendlin scores. Meth rounding third. Heading home. Trips and falls. Just feet from the plate. Unfortunately, she is out. So we go to the top of the second now. Southwick with a uh, Southwick with a 2-0 lead in this one. Base is loaded for Devin Fox. She pops it up far enough into the outfield for Mila, Mia Della Jacina uh, to tag and score, putting Southwick up by three runs. Still in the second now. Base is loaded again for Sarah Ho. She singles. Emma Cleland and Sydney Gorman score. Ho with a stand-up double. Southwick now leading 6-0. Southwick with a shutout, 11-0.